Following its decisive performance in Operation Sindor, India's S-400 Sudarshan air defense system is set for a rupees 10,000 crore missile replenishment. The IAF plans to acquire hundreds of long, medium, and short-range missiles from Russia to reinforce its layered air shield. Three of five squadrons are operational, the pending two, delayed by the Ukraine conflict's supply snarls, are now earmarked for 2026 induction, with India invoking penalties on timeline misses. The Indian Army is set to acquire around 1,000 advanced guided Panaka rockets, with a 90 km range, as the Defense Acquisition Council prepares final approval on November 23rd. Developed by DRDO, the GPS and INS guided rockets offer pinpoint accuracy within a 10 meter circular error probable, marking a major leap from earlier unguided versions. Valued at an estimated rupees 3,000 to 4,000 crore, Production will involve Tata Advanced Systems and LNT, with induction targeted by 2027 to bolster long-range precision strike capabilities against China and Pakistan. Indonesia is reportedly set to become the second buyer of India's BrahMos supersonic cruise missile after the Philippines, with local media citing a $450 million deal involving coastal and naval variants, co-produced with BTI Defense. While India's defense minister confirmed two new export contracts worth rupees 4,000 crore, official identities remain undisclosed. Sources suggest deliveries could begin by 2027 to 28, as part of India's growing defense export push, with Indonesia eyeing BrahMos for archipelagic deterrence, amid rising China tensions. The Indian Navy is developing a next-generation hybrid submarine-launched surface-to-air missile to target maritime patrol aircraft, like the P-8I Poseidon. The system, reportedly torpedo tube-launched, will enable submarines to defend themselves from aerial threats while preserving stealth. Expected to feature in upcoming Project 76 and SSN-class subs, the initiative aligns with India's Atmanurbar Bharat push. Drawing inspiration from systems, like Germany's interactive defense and attack system for submarines, it could redefine undersea warfare in the Indian Ocean region. The Indian Air Force has begun inducting an upgraded medium-range surface-to-air missile system, or MRSAM, featuring a new dual-pulse solid rocket motor, extending its interception range from 70 km to 100 km, Jointly developed by DRDO and Israel's Rafael, the supersonic missile can neutralize aircraft, helicopters, and guided weapons. Initial batches have been delivered to the IAF Sadamper Squadron, with mass production set for 2027, boosting India's layered air defense, under the Atmanurbar Bharat Initiative. Bengaluru-based Veda Aeronautics has announced its entry into the underwater defense sector, beginning with anti-submarine warfare training systems. Founder Deepesh Gupta revealed the move on Diwali, showcasing a 3D render of a sleek autonomous underwater vehicle. The initiative aims to develop indigenous ASW simulators and underwater drones to enhance naval training and self-reliance under Atmanurbar Bharat. Veda plans further underwater innovations to support the Indian Navy's Blue Water Dominance Goals by 2030. Hyderabad-based Ragu Vamsi Machine Tools has unveiled its Indra series of 100% Made in India micro-turbojet engines, signaling a breakthrough in indigenous propulsion technology. Developed under full transfer of technology rights from a foreign OEM the lineup RV-14, RV-19, RV-25, an RV-40 delivers 14 to 40 kgf thrust, four drones and UAVs. With certification and mass production targeted within two years, the Indra engines aim to slash import dependence and strengthen India's defense and aerospace ecosystem. The Indian Navy has launched Project 76, a next-generation conventional submarine program 
set to outscale the earlier project's 75 and 75i initiatives. Featuring over 2,500 ton displacement, these submarines will integrate DRDO's indigenous air independent propulsion and potentially BrahMos or BrahMos NG cruise missiles boosting stealth, endurance, and strike range beyond 450 kilometers. Designed with advanced Indian sonar, combat systems, and EW suites, Project 76 underscores at Minerva Bharat ambitions. With construction expected around 2030, the program aims to counter expanding Chinese and Pakistani submarine fleets, securing India's dominance across the Indian Ocean region. India's DRDO has successfully conducted the maiden flight of the Archer NG male UAV at the aeronautical test range in Chitradurga, validating key aerodynamic and systems parameters in a 45-minute sortie. Developed by ADE, the 1,800 kg drone boasts a 177-horsepower indigenous engine, 30,000-foot ceiling, 29-hour endurance, and 300 kg payload capacity across 12 hardpoints. Designed for ISR and precision strike roles, the Archer NG features a composite airframe, SATCOM capability, and modular payload bay, reinforcing India's self-reliance in unmanned warfare and paving the way for full-scale testing and production. Riding the success of the AMCA stealth fighter program, the Indian Air Force is setting sights on sixth-generation air power, with Deputy Chief Air Marshal of Desh Kumar Bharti urging early investment in AI-driven autonomy, directed energy weapons, and hypersonic integration. Senior IAF officials confirmed that brainstorming sessions for next-gen platforms are underway to avoid delays faced during fifth-gen development. The plan envisions ADA leading conceptual work, post-AMCA milestones, targeting man-on-man -man teaming, adaptive stealth and laser defenses, with a possible heavy strike variant to replace Su-30 MKIs by 2040, cementing India's leap into 6th gen warfare. That's all for today. Hope you liked this video. Please like, share and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.